This is a chart of the Standard & Poor's futures uh, e-minis. As uh, the last video of the last weeks, uh, we got caught in a bear trap since in this bar over here, when the SPY, the ETF of the Standard & Poor's, uh, failed to cross the resistance line, we believe, uh, as others do did, that this, uh, this particular bar uh, was about to um, give a room to a, a strong uh, continuation of the downturn. This was a tap. Uh, this, uh, there is no uh, other explanation. It was in a critical point. And uh, at the same time, we spoke the, in, the last in the previous week video that uh, the, the movement was uh, able to continue to the 1450 zone. So when this bar took place and it broke the, this turn line, up turn line, and we have this uh, sell signal over here, we believe uh, last week that we are going to, uh, we were going to continue to the downside. But as we can see now, these three dates in particular, this bar was a bear trap. So uh, as we can see the day that the cell signal was generated over here by system, we see that this uh, downturn line, a uh, dynamic support line, uh, it was tested uh, millimetrically. So uh, this bar give room, gave room to uh, a reversion uh, of this microwave down so when this reversion reversion took per, took place the up movement resumed and as we can see the next uh, five days uh, the entire last week was extremely strong ver very volatile uh, but extremely strong and in Wednesday uh, we could see we could witness uh, the the making of another uh, make a reversal or continuation target in 1432.76. So with this vehicle reversal target, we can see that in the coming week, if we can cross this 1432.76, uh, uh, we are going to test 1450 as we expected uh, two weeks ago. And if this 1450 um, is broken as we can expect now, since this movement uh, again uh, is clearly uh, upwards, so if this uh, target of uh, vehicle reversal is broken to the upside and in, in a consolidated way, we'll have for a fact the, the search of, of 1450 as a resistance. And even more, if this movement is uh, confirmed, this uh, vehicle, reverse, uh, vehicle reversal target will uh, bake in a consolidated way 1450 won't hold as resistant and we are we will be looking for the 1500 points uh, up until now this movement on april and this movement uh, of a couple of weeks ago uh, it's uh, they were clearly bear traps uh, they were designed by the market as a living being we can say that uh, to make us believe that the uh, down movement will resume in the short term, but that's, that wasn't the point. As we can see in this chart, uh, ignore the levels, they are wrong. This is an ABC, a clear ABC to the 1250 uh, points uh, support. As if this is an ABC, and uh, furthermore, as we, uh, talk specifically uh, three weeks ago, uh, as we can see this uh, red train tax line was broken three weeks ago. We knew and, and we mentioned in the videos that this was a major sign that we could ex speculate that uh, overlapping in terms of time uh, had took place. So 1450 was a target and 1500 was a target. We were uh, taken um, two weeks ago with this bar, this is a weekly chart, but in the next week, the last week, uh, again, we resume the uptrend, and as we can see now, this is a perfect ABC, and this must be uh, an upwards movement. The question is, 
is this an X wave? Only an X wave to a 1450 or 1500 level in five wave sequence, uh, an X wave that will uh, ensue afterwards uh, a strong uh, downwards movement from uh, e equivalent from the fell from 1600 points to 1250 points that could uh, make the the market in a strong way to the downside on uh, three down waves uh, more from the zone of 1450 or 1500. But uh, the question is, is this an X wave or this is a reversion, a, uh, a major reversal uh, for the medium term? So this question is uh, hard to ask and we can see that we are uh, sure that 1450 will be achieved and even 1500. At that level, in 1500, we will be uh, analyze the charts again, and at that at this point, we'll will be able, if this point is reached, of course, we'll be able to say if this was a next wave or a major reversal in mid terms. Okay, that was the e mini futures. This is the ETF of the Standard & Poor's, the SPY. As we can see, this downtrend line, the dynamic resistance, when the last week, uh, the previous week, uh, two weeks ago, in this bar, we were tricked as we spoke uh, earlier in the e mini chart. As we can see in this bar, we, uh, we were led to believe that the resistance line, the line hold and held and uh, in this um, sell signal, uh, we were tricked again uh, to think that uh, since uh, this was a Friday, if uh, we could expect that in the earlier um, days of last week, we could uh, expect to uh, uh, make a search of the 1350 level. That didn't took place, and this was a bear trap, a three days bear trap, and. Uh, uh, all this week, uh, beginning in Monday, uh, we had a strong movement to the upside. As we can see, the make or break resistance had a, um, a time target to, to resolve as a breakout or a resistance level uh, as, in, as of 15 May. So as we can see in May 15, we, uh, we tested, we, we can see that the bar almost uh, is, uh, we, we see it very difficult because the coincidence of the time target and the bar and as we can see at the, at the last uh, day of the of the week the friday as we can see we have a, a week day but we managed to uh, close over this resistance uh, make or break so is uh, if in the next couple of days we furthermore close over this zone of resistance we can be sure that we are going to look for the 1450 level or even the 1500 level. As we can see, we had a break um, reversal target on the ETF of uh, one, uh, 41.48. That was break. So um, in, the in the following two days, we consolidated that break. And as we can see in this bar uh, over here on third day, third day um, we had um, a buy signal. The buy signal will be confirmed in the coming days if we can close clearly over the 142.63. If we can achieve that breakout in addition to the break or the of the target of break or reversal, we are uh, going to uh, look for the 1450 level or even the 1500 um, clearly without doubt.